Welcome to this episode of DIY3DTech.com. In this episode, I'm going to be talking about this. So I finally got it put together. In two separate videos, I talked about 3D printing this manifold for the K40 CO2 laser. And then in another episode, I talked about coming up with this uh, adapter for the compressor uh, to ventilate my C40 or my C40, my K40 CO2 laser. I'll get it straight. So, anyways, if you go look back many, many moons ago in the play laser playlist, which uh, those interested in lasers, check out the e eBay K40 laser playlist. Lots of stuff out there. Um, but anyways, um, I utilize a bounce house compressor um, to, to do the fume extraction. And the idea is it has roughly a 2 to 1 ratio. So in other words, it's got a 6 inch inlet and a 3 inch outlet. So it does about 2 to 1 compression because the idea is really not to compress the air, but to move lots of air. And it has a 1 horsepower motor. So it does move a lot of air. So one of the things that I didn't feel I was getting in the one and a half inch system is enough balance uh, for fume removal because this is the one big thing with lasers folks it's moving the fumes you have to move the fumes you know all this stuff you see in this Glowforge laser with this HEPA filter you know color me very skeptical about that because these things generate tons of fumes and they're toxic fumes on that so you need to move them so the one and a half inch system was working okay. I want to improve that and this is one of the reasons I went to a three inch system. Now you might be saying, but Joe, why didn't you go to a four inch system, you know, something like that. Well, the reason I didn't is I wanted to match this up with the vent of the laser and I'll do some overlays in the corner. So the, the vent on my laser is about 4,000 square millimeters in size. If you calculate out the area of this hose, which is 3-inch marine uh, grade ventilation hose, what you end up getting is this is about 4,500 millimeters. So there's a good match between what the vent of the CO2 laser can take in versus what this hose can move to the compressor and from this tube into the compressor. Uh, I'm getting at least a one-to-one -one ratio because remember I mentioned the output is three inches so my input is three inches so roughly I'm going to get a good movement of air or at least a reasonable movement uh, everything considered. So this is about uh, over double because if you calculate my uh, one and a half inch line that's about 1200 millimeters square millimeters of surface area that it could move and this is 4500 so I'm getting a substantial substantial amount more because this is the one thing when you do the math of areas and when this something gets bigger it gets exponentially bigger so this this is going to move a lot more air and it's going to be better balanced to the compressor and again I'll have put some um, overlays up there so you can kind of see this so I'm pretty excited about getting this working and I'll have the you know this this piece is already out on Thingiverse uh, I'll put this piece out here with links to you know my compressor setup because again it hasn't been bad with the one and a half inch uh, line and I'm expecting with this three inch line that it that it's you know super and I'll do a little bit more as I get into it um, and use this and, and really tune it more. But I just wanted to do a quick video on sort of tuning your fume extraction system for your CO2 laser, how I'm doing it, what's working, what modifications I'm making. Because again, I know a lot of you guys out there uh, follow me for the CO2 laser and, and you know like to kind of keep up. And this is what I'm doing. So anyways, hopefully you found this interesting. If you did, give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget Swag Shop, yep, Swag Shop up there. Uh, subscribe button over there. Let me know in the comments any questions below or what are you doing? I'm always interested from hearing from you guys what you're doing. If it's interesting, maybe I'll do it too. Um, so anyways, just sharing. Cheers. See you guys in the next video. Please click like below and subscribe to the channel.